Nice stroke, Mike, uh, Michael Paps. Beautifully tucked away. Lovely hit. Beating third man nicely, one bounce for four. That's not a bad way to target it. Six off the first ball. Four more, straight this time. See time by Michael Paps, it's a beautiful straight drive. It's quite, quite fine and that'll be four more. One more. Too short, too wide. Antini. Move into his bigger shots. Stephen Fleming in trouble if it hit. I'm sure he would have been gone there. The direct hit would have left him short. And really, he knew he was gone. With the left hand. Oh, it's through again. This is a good over for, uh, for Michael Paps. And I think perhaps the plan has changed. That's a good stroke from Paps. He's made something there. Oh, it's a lovely shot. Bit of room from Fleming. Lovely stroke. Now, that's a six, and it's a very good stroke because he... Cre get out! Yes! And out. Next ball, Stephen Fleming. He's picked out the fielder at square. Into the onside. See here, he's created a bit of room. Got a good contact on it. straight down the ground there's no one in position there that offers up it's well back and there it is 50 for Michael Paps top effort great hit sick edge four Run out chance, gone. That is outstanding, man, what a play there. Very, very quick fielder, quick to release the ball. Cairns always struggling, and in the end, nowhere near. And it has, disappear it goes. Oram gets his timing right, he just uh, held on for us. Slicing over point, picking up four. Out towards the boundary. Got good catch as he stayed and he has. Callas. Very vital time and he's got the right man out in Jacob Oram. In fact, it's his third wicket. This is a good catch by Jacques Callas because he knew the boundary was always very close. Not this time. Jacob Oram goes. Gone. Boucher. Good catch. He did go a long way to his right. So Paps is gone. Well, that's out, I'm sure. Nicely picked up by Mark Boucher against Pakistan, played well. Yeah. And Callum has got a boundary. I think that just snuck over the rope. Well, that all actually, it looked like he had it covered there. It's hit his head, I think, after the fumble. It's taken him a moment to find it. And uh, LB, I don't know. It's touch and go. Goes again, McCullum and goes big that's well back into the stand gee what an over this is for New Zealand Styrus this time that's out of the ground and they're really launching now the New Zealanders that's another great shot Brendan McCullum again oh this is a magnificent blow from Scott Styrus he has stood and delivered Scott Styrus but it's right in the slot where you can just stand and get the bat under the ball better of course but he's given him too much opportunity to... all toss this time it's heading out through mid wicket it's one bounce for four styrus and strike that's big where's that gone that's gone the whole way oh, he's eased it through it's a nice stroke he really times the ball nicely herschel gibbs He's too clever, and he's punched this away for a boundary behind square. The edge. And another boundary. So that we get the start they were looking for.
Bold hit that. Big shout from Fleming and McCullum. They have made a sound, uh, and certainly from McCullum's perspective. Again, Smith punching square on side, and that'll go away for four more. Beautifully gapped by Smith, and that is four. Glorious stroke here. Gibbs going offside. The adjustment from Oram was... That's gone. You could just sense that that's gone a long way as soon as it left the blade. Herschel Gibbs. There's no noise at all. This is a beauty. And uh, Herschel Gibbs, he likes to play that shot. Got a good eye, backs himself. What a shot that is. That is so On Catch. the rack. Out. Fleming won't drop that. He's got a good safe pair of hands and he judged over the top, Graham Smith. He's been doing that quite often. Not the comfortable side. In fact, I think it's skewed off the edge a little bit. Stephen Fleming, tall man, got up there nicely. <laughs> New Zealand. 95 for one. Graham Smith on his way for 43. Big hit out towards the fence. He's picked his gap. In fact, he's gone all the way. Nugget yeah. out. Gone. And by Davis, his yes. Oh, magnificent bowling. We're just talking about the length. And there's the flight. A little bit of turn. Hellas gone for 16. Straight away, Morkulas. The first ball he's ever faced in international cricket. Morris says, you are kidding me. Lofted, down towards Cairns. And Gibbs is out of here. What a big mistake there. Gibbs on his way for 69. And then Mossy, hit him. Oh, this could be close. At the price. Or bad running between the wickets, I'm sure. No doubt about it. Forty off 35 bulls at Jade Stadium. Well, he hasn't troubled to score us today. Short of a length, he's just punched it back to Vittori. But that man was important. He's out for zero. Out. Yeah, he is out. Fleming's held on to another one up mid on. Going beyond Fleming, who takes his second catch. Slower ball from Chris Cairns. So Dipinar's gone for eight. It's 153 for six. Lovely stroke there. Oh, good hit, Prince. That is all the way. No, just dropping short. He looked to have timed it uh, well. Both full tosses uh, are also hard hit. Should be a run out. Cairns did the right thing. He weighed it up, then saw the mix up and fired it to McCullum. Another crazy run out. He goes offside and gets it through. Third man up. Where's that gone? Back down, uh, third man for four where it came from. It's Pollock hits one over cover. There's one of them. Five sixes needed. Sixes now. Not this time. And it won't even get to the boundary. Prince is coming back for two. Is it? Yes, it is. There's one of them. Hello. at three sixes and four deliveries as Mark his head is down magnificent Pollock and Mills does it and New Zealand take the lead in the series 2-1 Mills so relieved and golfed by his teammates what a magnificent finish as Pollock looked to snatch it away